She's pretty much at the, the bottom of a spiral, it seems. Um, her mother having died three or four years prior to these flashbacks um, and her relationship with her husband coming to an end right around the same time. Um, uh, uh, and amidst all that, some, some um, slightly destructive behavior, we might say, without judgment. Um, lots of sleeping around and drug use, and um, she's just, she's really lost. She's at a loss, she's lost, and she's, um, she's suffering and torturing herself, it seems. And I seem to play the sort of slightly finger-wagging, um, but incredibly loving, famili familially loving, friend who is trying to help her get back on track and but yeah a lot of it resonated with me um, none of the specifics of course but um, I think that it's something that most women especially tend to go through either in their 20s or 30s men maybe a little later they're a little slower um, so it's no surprise to me at all that it's become a New York Times bestseller I mean I think it speaks to what all of us sort of have to do in one way or another you know whether or not you're sort of motivated by such, such a tragic event or not, I think the inevitable identity crisis creeps up on all of us, so yeah.